let's try, let's let's get let's all have a cold one because today we're looking at a film from the public domain. Let's hope let's hope this film doesn't get copyrighted. Because if it does, I'd be saying you can't claim that. There is something called fair use law in which, when something is criticized. It is no longer that original piece of work. Yeah, that. But today's, but let's go ahead and look at today's film, which is about, of course, using gene, like an embryo, to create a human that ages rapidly. Let's talk about it. Greetings and salutations. How's everyone doing? So today, we're looking at the film Embryo. <laughs> So this is like, I mean, we haven't really talked about many films in the public domain. We've done it before, but not a ton. So what was the, uh, what happened in this film? Well, the film deals with the mental and physical consequences of growing a human embryo in an artificial uterus. So basically, it is a science fiction horror film. <laughs> Honestly, when it comes to this film, I could say how, yeah, like, this film looks like it was, like, a film for a TV network, but, uh, honestly, I, I will say some of the things that are actually kind of entertaining about it, like, the fact that in the film, we have, I mean, I know dogs can be trained to do this, but I think that it's, there's moment there's moments where a dog is opening doors or other times where it is being smart and or not really smart where it's just being aggressive and just killing other dogs. <laughs> Because here's the, here's the thing, the beginning of the film deals with a scientist trying to, uh, cr like, you know, saving a dog be after it had, after its mother had been gotten hit by a car. So, yeah, and eventually this I say, hey, what if we could do this same experiment, but with a person? And he ends up doing that, and, and as well as, in a way, trying, in a way... Uh, basically, the, the, uh, the, how to say this, the baby, uh, the embryo goes from, like, being a baby to a child in, like, relatively a short, quick time. Honestly, the one thing that caught me by surprise is the fact that this film is PG, but this, well, this is back in 1976, before the creation of the PG-13, so back then it was only PG, and then Raid R, so, yeah. I mean, mostly it's because there is a lot of, uh, nudity. I'm gonna show it though, cause, you know, that, I don't want, yeah, that probably would be the best idea. <laughs> Let me smash, please. Heck, I, heck, there are some moments, like, say, where Victoria, she's like, eventually he's going to say, okay, uh, I want to show you off to society and all that. And he, and basically, he's, eventually just says, like, hey, I know how to play chess. I've never played before, but I'm going to play chess with this guy. This is much safer. You just sit down, sweetheart, and I'll show you the rules of the game. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, when uh, suddenly... Uh, when she when she starts beating him in this a chess a game. Where have you played before? 
played. I've only read books. Oh. I've never played. I've only read books. You let me win! Oh! She let me win! Nobody lets me win! Let me have it! And, uh... Oh, I will say that the thing about this film is that I think the, uh, like, the makeup effects for this film, because, because the actress for, uh, Victoria is the same actress the entire film, so, yeah, as, as, near the end of the film, we get, like, say, old, uh, Victoria is, like, a middle-aged, like, a old woman. <laughs> So yeah, it's, honestly, I think that makeup looks pretty great, especially for fourteen hundred dollars. And I will say that there are uh, that uh, honestly, I feel like there's a lot to say. Yet at the same time, it's this is honestly one of those films where it's like it's more fun to actually watching it and then explaining it because things just happen and it's just like like when you. Like, when you, when you actually show it, it makes more sense. But when you're actually talking about it, it's just like, say, you sound like a loon. Like a loony tune, almost, or sometimes. <laughs> I'm just, but the thing about it, at the end of the film, it does say, hey, we are working at doing, actually doing this. It makes me wonder, have you actually... Have you, have you actually figured this stuff out yet? Or are you still working on it? But honestly, I feel like this film is kind of entertaining. And especially for a film that's in the public domain, you feel like, say, oh, this would, looks like something that would be just, you know, uh, TV movie quality. But honestly, it's not bad. The acting is actually pretty good. The one well, little bit of uh, core is there. Is actually pretty good, I guess. <laughs> like uh, Victoria, uh, like chemically killing someone. But overall, I feel like this film is not bad. But, what, but this is just how I feel. Well, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share for your friends. And, and as always, don't forget to keep your popcorn warm and buttery. And your drinks ice cold. And as always, don't forget to keep your eyes on the screen. I shall most definitely be seeing you next time. See you later.